showed in my finished pages this page here now I said that I probably won't come back and finish it purely because I got a little bit on her face but the background is so cool I can't not show it so what I've done is I've picked this page out I'll pop that over there for now is it going to slide off no I've picked this page out purposefully started this last night you'll be wondering she said that the other day I'm filming it on the same day that's why that's why move this a little bit so I want to do all of this background in that effect but I'm also going to test it in nicer quality paper. Now this is the Hannah Carlson Artist Edition. And the way that I'll do it is both of these I will paint, a uh, paint. I've got painting on my mind because I've just been talking about watercolor paint. Um, I'll put alcohol marker down all over the background, speed it up uh, on both of the pages for you and then come back in real time and show you what I did with this. It's so simple. It's so simple, so easy to do. So I think I want to start off with this page first, get all the base down, and then we'll move over to this one. And then we'll we'll do it like that, I think. I think that's the best way. That's the best way. So I'll get a little bit more organised. You'll see that it's fast forwarded. I'll probably fast forward it by times eight or something, so it'll be a couple of seconds for you, but it might take me probably about an hour to do both of these, but we'll see. So that's both of the pages done. All alcohol marker in the background. This one actually just came out like camouflage effect. I weren't expecting it to, and that wasn't the colour scheme that I was going for. But once I'd started doing this, I thought, ah, that looks like uh, camouflage. So we'll do this one first. So I'll move this one over. Protective sheet back behind this one. And you'll just you'll laugh and you'll think, why is she even filming this? Because it's so super simple. Now with the other image, with this one, I did put masking tape. Can you see where there's gaps? I did put masking tape and it created just a nice white line. Now I didn't want to do this with this one in particular because I've already done the image and I've learnt my lesson. If you're gonna use masking tape, use it on a page that's not been coloured yet because it'll pull the pencil up and I didn't want to do it in the artist edition book because you can't get this book anyway and I don't want to destroy it so I was being a little bit more careful with that one but this is just it says alcohol with a bit of paint alcohol blending solution used to lighten blend or remove alcohol ink now it does come with a really tiny I don't know what you call that funnel like tip and all I did Right, give me a shout if I'm out of frame. Still trying to get used to this darn tripod where it is. But I'll try my best and we'll work on this half and then move you up. So I'm going to have to move my drink and move my phone. That would help. Now I think we're ready to, to do it. Now the way that I did it last night is a couple of drops here and there and then really big drops and then just tapping it and just letting it do its own thing. Try and keep the page flat as best as I can. I'm not squeezing the bottle at all. I'm just laying it on the paper. My dog's decided to come out of the bed, so you might hear her walking around. Now, I want to be a bit more careful around the face and on the little goat because they are already based with alcohol mark and I don't want to take that off. So let's move up here. 
and let's move the page down so you can see what I'm doing that should be okay try and keep the page as flat as possible to avoid that there, the big puddles don't want that it may seem like I'm using loads and loads but I'm barely touching the paper here it's just little drops that are coming out but you can see it activates straight away around but dead careful there just a little splodge hoping it doesn't go on the skin too much right so that's enough for that one so let me move that to one side and let's work on the Hannah Carlson one now the paper in this book is a lot thicker so I'm expecting this to act differently so I think I might need another plastic sheet because that one's got the alcohol solution all over it I've got to show my laptop on editing a video and I'm filming and I'm uploading and I can't get it out so am I going to be able to do this that should be all right and I'll put put my phone there so it don't touch the next page that should be all right just pop that behind here and I'll have to move it around as well so let's start at the top now like I said I don't know how it's going to react on thicker paper because this is really cardstock paper but because I've not coloured any of the illustration yet I'm not too worried about going inside because that can get easily covered up with more alcohol markers or uh, pencil or even paint for that matter in this book this book will take anything I'm going to do a couple of bigger splodges on this one and let's move down and even further down I think that's the furthest I'm going to get it and I'm not being as careful with this one because like I said I've not done a base of alcohol marker on the actual illustration so it will dry completely clear and you'll not even know that it was there so I think that'll be enough now it does take a little while to dry this even to the touch you'll think oh it's dry that but I still wouldn't colour over it at least an hour if not more I won't touch these now for probably a day or two because I have got other things that I need to do and I just did this for the video's purpose I didn't realise, I just realised I didn't push the paper down so it's gone over to the next page never mind, I'll be able to paint over that but look at the opposite side it literally goes through anything goes through anything because of the uh, alcohol marker so that's that page again like I said it isn't dry it does change the effect ever so slightly let's move this one back over into frame gosh I'm all fingers and thumbs just like this and then you get to see the effect it is so darn easy why I've not thought about this when I've had that blending solution I've had this for over a year if not more and I've barely, I can't show you without it, there's like this much used of it and I've had it for that long and I, I decided to do this for the first time so I'm sort of kicking myself that I didn't do this sooner see it's not gone to the other side of this one because I had my phone like, like this so it wasn't allowing it to touch but yeah I just think it is a cool effect anybody could do it, use any brand um, alcohol markers that you want but this is the specific brand the Tim Holtz one that I used for the blending solution there is probably cheaper ones out there I've just not tried them yet but I, I definitely am going to do after this effect I will move the camera around so you can get a better view so here is the Hannah Calzon one as you can see because I've gone blender happy though it's gone onto the face but I'm not worried about that because I can just go over the top of it the light is not my friend today so yeah I can go over the top of the alcohol marker once it's completely dry cover that with pencil paint whatever whatever but look how cool that is without the light getting in the way and we'll move over to the Mystic Art Mirrors Colour in Heaven one 
so if you have used colouring heaven paper before you know it is on the thinner side it's not as thin as um, Amazon printed paper but it's not as thick as a Hannah Carl's on one and I've just noticed it's gone onto his little ear never mind never mind and on his body there a little bit so it does sort of want to travel you see what I mean it does sort of want to do its own thing so you you really do have to be careful like I was more careful on this side than I was the Hannah one but all in all so let me stand up all in all I'm pleasantly surprised with that that is a super cool background for such little effort I will leave the alcohol markers that I use as, along with the blending solution in the description down below. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. Are you going to try this technique? Let me know in the description. In the description, in the comments. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.